Good morning, everybody. My name is Stefan Rosa, and I'm the ST uh, EMEA line manager for Future Electronics, and we would like to welcome you on the Future Electronic booth at the Embedded World 2022. Let's have a quick look around of what we have prepared to show the ST Microelectronics technology. So we start with Pavel, who is um, part of our design center and has designed a lot of application with our uh, with the ST technology. Pavel. Yes, uh, we can uh, see here car park uh, occupancy uh, demo. Uh, it is based on uh, 60 gigahertz radar from Atonier, which acts as a proximity sensor. It can measure the proximity uh, from few millimeters up to even seven meters. And we can see that if we, for example, put this plate on the sensor, there should be a local blue diode which signaling that the uh, car park is occupied and we should see the results on the application server. Um, we transfer this data over the LoRa van. Uh, so we are using LoRa van as our uh, network. And we collect data from the sensor, send them over LoRa van to uh, application server. We used uh, STM32WL uh, MCU as our uh, LoRa van transceiver. So this is the microcontroller from ST, which contains the RAVAN transceiver inside the chip, so this is the one for the silicon. We also collect data from a uh, GPS module, uh, which is also ST to sell. And we send this data location and, uh, and, and the presence and the distance to application server. So for example, smart city, monitoring car parks around the city, could be the target application for the demo. But of course, this sensor has a more wider application capabilities than only the car park occupancy detection. Thank you, Pavel. Thank nice. you very much. Great, great application. Oh. Now let's go to uh, to the to the power, and I would like our gentleman uh, David Hi. Woodcock to introduce itself Morning. and to show the fantastic board we have done uh, to uh, let's say promote the GAN technology uh, of ST. This is a full ST dedicated board. <laughs> David, your stage. Uh, thank you, Stefan. Morning. If we could just to show you over here. Um, so. This project we're calling GAN Star. Uh, Stefan was indicating it's a design collaboration between Future Electronics and ST Microelectronics. And it's focusing on the capability of reducing the size, using GAN to reduce the size of uh, power stages. Um, the board itself <coughs> is indicated here. Uh, so this is a DC to DC stage. It's not a full AC to DC. It's half of an AC to DC, if you like. Uh, but it's a resonant LLC, DC to DC, uh, running up to 500 watts. Um, the advantage in doing things this way by switching faster using GAN technology is to reduce the size. Um, and we reckon that uh, with switching at around about 250 kilohertz at full load, compared with 70 kilohertz or 100 kilohertz with comparable silicon solutions, you can get the size down by around 30%, and that's what we're seeking to demonstrate with this design. Target applications, clearly, where size and weight counts. So from our customer perspective, then that might be in the telecom mar market, in robotics, uh, transport, or industrial sectors. So I've been hearing, hearing about GAN a little bit for chargers. Yes. People are like hyping it up as the new thing that really yes. helps with power. Yes. And how do, does it help exactly? Um, the switching characteristics that the technology offers over silicon are more perfect, if you like. So uh, you get fewer uh, losses when you are switching at voltage. So that means over silicon you can switch faster. And if you're able to switch faster, then in, a, in any power system that allows you to start considering using smaller magnetic components, smaller primary inductance for transformers, uh, and potentially smaller uh, other passive components like capacitors. So that helps to reduce the overall size. Um, or you can use the fact that the switching characteristics are less lossy to improve efficiency, and that can also uh, help you with size reduction for the overall system as well. What does the ST part help in terms of realizing all this? The specific ST part that's uh, enabling this capability is a product called MasterGAN. It's actually a series of, of, of different products uh, with different grades of capability, but fundamentally it's an integrated GAN device. 
with uh, half bridge or two power switches um, together with uh, integrated drivers for those power switches on a single chip. Uh, so it's a very, very compact and very, very small solution. Nice. Cool. Are you having a good embedded world? Yes, thank you. Yes, very, very busy. Nice. Good. Then let's move to the next station, uh, we would like, which is over there. We would like to uh, show uh, ST, which is a stronghold in uh, motor control, industrial application, robotics. So let's move and try to get somebody who can explain us. Yes, Martin. Good morning. Hello, thank you for joining us. And uh, we are here with, uh, uh, with ST to show ST technology. Could you, could you please? Yeah, let's go over there. So here we have two demos, nice demos, attracting demos with ST. This one is showing uh, synchronized motor control with uh, based on the ST Spin 32 series from ST, which is a very yeah, interesting product to the market, combining a microcontroller and driver and DC DC converter in one. Uh, in one device, and here we have this combination between two of these interlocked wheels, uh, driven by two of these uh, of these controller boards, uh, combined with a motor from Maxim Motor and the encoder, uh, who's measuring the position. This coming together, uh, attracting a lot of people on our on our booth. Uh, is it very special to do it this kind of way? It is. ST has been one of the first to bring together this functionality and showing it in, in, in such a way, yeah, that's, that's it. And then what we have as well, on the sensor side, so it's always the control side and the power side, and then we have the sensor side as well, what we show here with this nice little um, industrial sensor demo uh, showing um, all the industrial sensors on one board so the customer can easily ev uh, evaluate temperature sensors, position sensing, accelerometer and so on, the whole portfolio of ST in that device. What um, is programmed in here is... So everything's there? Everything is there. What you, what you need to have, you can lock the data, you can analyze the data, there's even a sensor on which has a neural uh, network on board and this was what we initially programmed in that one so that it can detect the position uh, and give the position without using a microcontroller so it's just the position directly given out from the um, from the sensor that's very unique and very very interesting power saving and extremely useful for the customers. famous uh, edge computing huh? can help yeah. Yeah. thank you very much martin welcome and yeah cool. thank you Thanks Thank a lot. you, have a good fare, and let's move to the next station. Here we will be talking about asset tracking. So we have uh, Claudio and uh, we have Filippo from ST2. Uh, Hello. The reason because Hello. both are there is because they've been collaborating on, the, on this initiative. I'll leave you the stage. Hello. What are you going to show us? Good morning. So here we have uh, the Astra board. This board is meant to target the asset tracking market. So uh, livestock tracking, uh, pallet tracking, container tracking and uh, goods tracking in general. So we have a, a complete solution that goes from the hardware to the cloud system. So the hardware is this, is the Astra board. Inside we have different technology from the connectivity part. We have a Bluetooth device with the STM32 WB. We have a LoRa model with the STM32 WL. <coughs> We have the possibility to track uh, the position with the Teseo free uh, GNSS module and we have also the connectivity with the NFC. So we have multiple connectivity, a lot of flexibility for this. So you can use a uh, mobile application to uh, configure and uh, communicate with the board and you also have the possibility to send data to a cloud system and uh, see your information on a web-based uh, site. The information that you can uh, collect and deliver with the Astra are uh, information related to different sensors, so temperature, humidity, uh, there is a gyroscope, a magnetometer, and uh, is uh, everything available now with the Astra kit. Uh, with the hardware, you have the possibility uh, also uh, to uh, receive the firmware, 
uh, that is working with the board free of charge and you have the possibility also uh, to have the software for the iOS and Android application and uh, uh, if you connect to myst.com you have access to the, also to a dashboard for demo purpose with the infinite number of Astra board that can be connected to. So this is the Astra and uh, you are welcome to ST in order to uh, try it and order it from uh, future electronics. A fantastic board with uh, a lot of uh, ST technologies on it. Sensor, wireless, NFC, uh, microcontroller uh, and everything. So we're, we're very proud about this collaboration and very excited about this, uh, uh, this, uh, how we can serve this market segment. How long have you been working with ST? Oh, uh, well, I know ST since 20 years, more than 20 years, although in this position I've just uh, started three years ago. But uh, it, it is a very, a very uh, exciting journey, I have to say. Uh, it's, it's incredible to see how many technologies ST is bringing out to the market. And uh, we love to surf them and then uh, help ST to bring them to our customers. Yes. Maybe, maybe you go for the sensors because I think this is very yeah. exciting. And by the way, we've been 10 okay. years together here yes, in Europe. More than 10 years in other parts of the world, but 10 years here. There you go, yes. guys. Hi, everyone. Okay. Davide, our yes. sensor <laughs> segment manager. Yes. So, hi everyone. Here we have two demos. One is about the VD6283, that is the new spectral sensors from uh, ST. So, as you can see, these boards are uh, communicating via Bluetooth. So, this sensor is getting information about uh, the intensity of light and is extracting information about uh, the light condition, the environmental light condition. And this board is basically controlling the LED. Uh, so according to the light condition, uh, essentially if I change the light condition, so I'm putting my hand on the sensor, you can see that uh, you know the light uh, intensity and the color, temperature color is changing over time. So the demo is displaying uh, the lux intensity plus the temperature color, as you can see. And again, if I change the condition, you can see that even uh, the LEDs are changing here, so displaying a different information. And here we have another demo that is about the sensor tile, industrial wireless sensor tile node. So it is connected via Bluetooth again with my smartphone. Uh, it uh, consists of a lot of uh, industrial sensors. We have uh, some IMU inertial units, uh, so uh, gyroscopes, acceler accelerometers, uh, we have humidity, temperature, barometric pressure, and microphone, everything at the same place. And you, you can utilize this platform to assess your uh, business case. Would be predicting maintenance, for instance, because all the sensors are industrial sensors. So um, as you can see here, I can change, let's say, the tab, select the feature like uh, accelerometer. I can select accelerometer, the time scale of one second. I can shake the board, as you can see, it displays all the acceler accelerometer information, the acceleration. I can even, let's say, change another time, stop clocking this one. We can track, for instance, temperature, I select temperature, one second refresh time, and again, it's getting information about the ambient environmental condition, temperature, humidity, whatever you like. So you can utilize the sensor as a starting point to, you know, create your and assess your business case. Well, we would have even more to show you, but I think we are limited in time. And so uh, I'm uh, really, um, I would really like to thank you and I invite you to contact Future Electronics when it comes to ST products. Nice. Thanks a lot. Thanks.